Okay. So first off, thank you everyone for joining. I know for those of you on the Pacific Coast, it's a little bit early, but excited to see all the excitement. Um, so let's jump into what are VS Code and CodeBuilder. So your Salesforce IDE experience is your main way for you to complete your Salesforce development. This is going to be how you're able to complete all of your typical language development against Apex and LWC, similar to how you'd see with other industry standard languages. So how do we actually provide you with this IDE experience? That would be through our Salesforce extensions. So the Salesforce extensions have two main purposes. One, we want to ensure that we can enable you to complete all of your typical language development against Apex, LWC, SQL, and all of those Salesforce languages. So we provide you with those really powerful language service features, such as being able to hit go to definition and navigating between your Apex class files, making sure that you're seeing syntax highlighting and making it easier for you to deploy your code and retrieve your code so that you can work on it locally within your IDE. The other side that we help you with, with our Salesforce extensions, are around making sure that you're successful with your development with Salesforce specifically. So we ensure that you're able to connect to your Salesforce org, you're able to debug against your debug logs that have been logged within your org, and we also make sure that you're able to complete all of those typical metadata operations that you might expect to see in your CLI, we let you do all of that inside of your IDE as well. And last but not least, what I'd like to highlight is that although our features are mainly focused around providing your development lifecycle um, functionality, we also do work to include something in our Salesforce extension expanded pack um, that actually helps you with your code quality and reliability as well. And so as of right now, we've included industry standard tools like ESLint and Apex PMD that help you make sure that you're formatting your code and keeping that code quality to the level that your team likes it at. All right, let's go ahead to the next slide. So one thing that you must have heard us mention quite a few times is that we've got something called Code Builder on the way, and we have something called VS Code. So the question that we've seen many times is what's the difference? When am I supposed to use VS Code and when am I supposed to use Code Builder? So here, what we're trying to convey to you all is that your Salesforce IDEs are meant to allow you to develop either on the desktop or on the web, however you choose to. So it is based up to your team and your personal development style, whether you like to complete your development locally, and if that's the case, then you can stick with Visual Studio Code and the Salesforce extensions. But if you're a little bit more on the go and want to make sure that you can keep accessing your Salesforce development tasks from the browser, then Code Builder is going to be your development environment of choice. So with Code Builder, you are actually able to complete all of your Salesforce development, have that Salesforce CLI, and have your Salesforce extensions all preloaded for you in a web-based environment. So now if we hit next slide, we can learn a little bit more about Code Builder itself. So Salesforce Code Builder is currently in open beta, so you are welcome to go out and test it and see what you like. And we are aiming to go GA around winter 23 of this year. So again, the main thing to understand about Code Builder is that it's making it easier for you to develop how you want and where you want. So now with Code Builder, you already have the Salesforce extensions and the Salesforce CLI prepackaged for you. So all you need to do is click one button from your org and you'll be able to launch directly into the Salesforce development environment where you can complete all of those same tasks like working with LWC, Aura, Apex, and seeing that syntax highlighting, but this time inside of your browser. We can go to the next slide. Okay, so now what are we planning for this upcoming year? So I'll start off by saying that we have heard a ton from you all throughout Dreamforce and Trailhead DX these past few years, and we have been keeping all of that in consideration as we've been determining our roadmap for this year. One of the main things that we've been hearing from you all is around stability and reliability 
of the IDE when you're developing with Apex and LWC. And we want to make sure that we're able to make you all as productive as you'd like to be when you're completing your Salesforce development. And so this year, first I'll touch upon Apex. This year, we're going to be making a lot of updates to our Apex language development experience. Our first focus is going to be around making sure that we're helping you with syntax highlighting, autocomplete, go-to definition, all of those great things for those recent platform features. So if you're working with your new assert class or the new user mode in Apex, and you start developing inside your IDE, you're seeing accurate syntax highlighting and you're seeing accurate error reporting. Those are the things that we wanna make sure are seamless and smooth experiences for you all this year and moving forward. We've also heard a lot around performance improvements. So we know that for many of you, when you're working with your Apex language server in orgs that have a large number, a large number of Apex classes, it can get a little bit tricky and difficult to get that Apex development experience actually running for you locally. So we're going to be focusing on making it easier for folks who may be on machines that aren't supporting them or are not able to get that full level of support from the Apex language server. We're going to be focusing on performance for you. Um, and last but not least, I want to highlight there is that you all might have heard of our Salesforce CLI scanner, now known as Salesforce Code Analyzer that's previously been available to you in the CLI. Well, now we're going to be helping you shift left in detecting code quality and security vulnerabilities by actually integrating your code analyzer to your IDE. So later this year, you'll be able to, as soon as you finish writing in your code, you'll be able to very quickly go in and hit save and behind the scenes code analyzer will run a scan for you find all of those errors that you would have caught with PMD, and we'll even catch security vulnerabilities for you right there in the IDE so it's easy for you to get started. And now I'll touch on the big announcement that we put out earlier this year at Trailhead DX, and I'm sure we're gonna be hearing a lot more about Einstein GPT for developers. So this year, we will be laying the foundations to provide you all with an AI-based developer tooling experience. For this year, our goals are focused specifically around Apex code generation. So we wanna make sure that for you all, it is easier to get started with your Apex development, and it's easier to jumpstart that development process when you're inside of your IDE. So, Later this year, we will be opening up a pilot program specifically geared towards Apex code generation. And I'll touch more on that a little bit later. Now, everything that you heard me talk about for Apex, we're focusing on all of the same things for LWC as well. So for LWC, we wanna make sure again that we're focusing on including syntax highlighting, autocomplete for all those recent platform features. And then we will also be expanding support across some of those other typical language dev features that you might be expecting. So we've got a few examples listed here, making sure that you've got the ability to rename component, refactor across your files, making sure that you're able to run tests accurately as well. And now, before I open it up to Alva, I'm gonna to touch on one last thing, which is going to be our code builder roadmap. So as we said earlier, Code Builder, we are aiming to go GA around winter 23. So that is going to be later this year. Um, we are again focusing on making sure that you're able to access that full IDE experience and the CLI from right there in your browser. And the focus is going to be to ensure that you are able to get started quickly without needing to do any of those typical setup steps that you'd have to do otherwise. All right, and so that is a very quick overview of all of the great things that are be going to be coming to the IDE experience this year. But if there's anything that you'd like to learn more about, this is your chance to ask those questions. Yeah, so thank you so much for that overview, Anania. I think it's really interesting to see all the innovations that you are bringing for developers. 
I'm super excited to learn more about the code analyzer integration. I'm glad to see that you are investing on the SLDS validator because that is a plugin that I loved, but it's true that it's kind of of outdated and I'm very much looking forward to to seeing it uh, fixed or improved. And, and of course, super excited to know more about Einstein GPT for Apex code generation. Looking forward to getting my hands on it and, and trying that out.